How could this video game be created here? An almost empty studio of 100 meters squared. It's all down to these special cameras. They track the movements of actors fitted with hundreds of motion sensors. No scenery or costumes required. The focus is on a technique that takes real actions and emotions and uses them to bring a new authenticity to gaming. The method consists of capturing the entire moving performance of the actor and to transcribe these movements onto the virtual clone that has already been scanned and give the face and the body of this character. So we simultaneously take the movement of the body, facial expressions, and at the same time, the voice of the actor. After this initial stage, the scenery, costumes, lighting and special effects are all added. I'll kill every it's a process that took almost three years and required the added know-how of engineers, graphic designers and 3D animators. This account of the life of Jodie Holmes tells her story from the age of eight right up to 25. So it's a diverse tale in terms of the light, in terms of the colour like changing from the red Navajo desert to more confined and detailed environments like an office. In Beyond Two Souls, the gamer becomes a co-creator. The player makes choices that affect the lives of the characters. Several scenarios are possible, and a total of 23 different endings have been plotted. I don't tell I didn't know what to do. Often in a video game you press a button and it triggers the same action, but then depending on where you are and what happens, the character will be able to do different things. So everything is based on the choices you make as a player, and the story evolves on the basis of your decisions. Technologically, the new ground being broken by Beyond Two Souls is not in dispute. What has sparked debate is whether gamers will be happy to let cinema encroach on their world.